welcome viewers to the fifth episode in a series of episodes where we are looking at the 2023 internal mathematics paper one so the first four episode covers question one through four in this episode we are focusing on question five again just to emphasize in case at the time you're watching this video i'm still looking for the first 20 lakh users to get access to the massive resources in the app please check the link below and go to our whatsapp channel where your details are hidden in that whatsapp channel you'll be able to see the number that you can use to share your gmail privately what you are sharing with me is just a gmail account gmail email account not the password so that email i'm going to use it to add it to the play store as part of the first 20 users to have access to this app and give feedback on your experience with the app which will form the report and the basis for the app to be published live on play store so that you can access it from anywhere so i'm not getting your passwords i'm only getting your email details but that email account should be gmail for it to be accepted by the play store in case at the time you're watching this video is more than two weeks you should be able to find the link to the app on the play store so i'm just asking for that support once i meet the minimum number of accounts and users that i can get feedback from then i'll be able to publish this app and go live which will be beneficial to so many people which is my dream to help as many people as possible so let us look at question five in detail given that vector op is equal to column vector 4 13 and the point q is 16,8 find the magnitude of vector pq so we're looking for the magnitude of vector pq that's what we are looking for so since this is a column vector op means p is equal to 4,13 why is that the case because if you are to assume let me use this as an example let me assume that this is the x axis so this is 0, then this is x, this is y. So OP means we are starting from the origin, then we are moving 4 steps along the x-axis and 13 steps. So this is where P will be. So this will be 4,13. That's what it means. So P is 4,13. So we have P, which is 4 comma 13 as a position vector then of q which is 16 comma 8 again 16 comma 8 means if this is 16 somewhere here just by assumption then this will be 8 somewhere here so q will be somewhere here so that somewhere here so that it is 16 comma 8 so from the origin this will be where q will lie so we have this is OQ, then we have OP, then the question is asking us first to find PQ, which is from here to here, this, then we find the magnitude of this one. So, to find PQ, the first thing is let us find PQ. To find PQ, to come to Q, is either use this root, to come this root, which is OP, which is the negative, then you go in the positive. So, what this tells me is, we have op which will be negative then plus oq which is positive so this is what it means so if i'm at p to get to q i use pq or i come this direction then go this direction that's what it means so this now tells me that pq i'm trying to explain that's why i'm taking a bit longer is equal to oq minus op that's what this tells me what is oq so i can use this one as a column vector so in the column vector this is the same as 16 8 like this so 16 8 then minus op which is this one is 4 13 so at this point we just simplify we're going to have 16 minus 4 which is 12 then 8 minus 13 which is negative 5 so this is 
PQ, which is in the position vector or the direction. But the question is asking us to find the magnitude of PQ, this magnitude. So to find this magnitude, we find, what we do is, we need to find this. So it will be, we square the difference between these values, which will be x square, we square this one, then plus, we square the y value. Then this thing that we find is the answer. So it does now substitute this. We have 12 square plus negative 5, negative 5 square, which will give me 144 plus 25, which will give me the square root of 169. So what is the square root of 169? The square root of 169 is 13. So 13 is the answer. So the magnitude of PQ is 13.